the outside. She went to the juniors and she came second in the 400 and, and 800 last week. She can run 55 point and she ran, she dropped her personal best 800 down four seconds to 207. So she could possibly be in the race herself. And they're off. What you want to see in the first 100 before the crossover is girls just starting to find their rhythm. And hopefully if you're on the inside lanes, you want to push up so that you don't get boxed in. If you're in the middle, you just want to watch everybody and hopefully settle into behind the pace. Cara Jardine has taken that pace out. She's making sure that she's up in front, she's not to young. cause any congestion. She's a really young girl, so it'll be a, a big occasion for her here pacing the Queensland Track Classic. She's obviously gone out a little bit fast. Her 400 PB shows that she's got speed. So it's possibly a little bit quick for the girls, but, you know, the field's good enough to race each other. Let's go down to Lynch and see what he's seeing trackside. Yeah, Jardine taking it out, but if the girls want to run fast, they need to get on the back of that pace. The pace was set for 60, then it went down to uh, 59. It looks like Lily Price there just tucked in and leading them through. She uh, is the Queensland state champ, but Cara Jardine, she's... This is her first pacing job, and she's done well. The girl's just not wanting to go with her. As they go past Selma Kajan now in the lead. Back up to you guys. Yeah, Lynch, it's disappointing that they're off that pace, but, you know, it's hard to tell what the conditions are out like and what the wet track has done out there. The girls are possibly foxing with each other. Like, Selma will want to make sure that she has the win on the board heading into the trials. But Brittany McGowan is looking much better as she's coming down that back straight. This is, this is the place where she tends to have that massive kick and fly past and that is what she is doing. She that. is flying past Ooh. Selma Kajan. It looks like her and her coach, James Khan, have gone back to the training training track and she looks like she is back in four. Working hard with 150 to go. Kajan just on the bend, but bring us home, Lynchy. Well, McGowan, that classic kick for Kajan now. She's whipping on the outside. Maybe McGowan went too hard. Come in the home straight. McGowan on the inside. Kajan has just whipped around her and she is going to take this out. The rest are fighting hard from behind but Kajan. She was too strong in person. And it looks like she's going to be way too strong again. Clock just ticking over two minutes. And she's going to take it out. Selma Kajan, 2.05.34. Takes a win. That's two from two for Selma. Wow. That was exciting. And I think Brittany should take a lot out of that race. She was back up there. She was racing. She just got tired in the back end, which shows that... Maybe